In this video, I'll show you how to import a CSV file in a model driven app to import your data. Now, to give you a context, I have an airline app. So let's pick up one of the tables. So I have airlines table, I have aircraft models. So let's pick, let's, let us pick up aircraft models. Now here, as you see, there are no records. So there's a column called as name, type and range. So I have an option. I'll just click on new and then I can select, uh, say, I'll just say Airbus A380. Uh, and then I can select the type as wide body and range as say long range. And then I'll click on save and then this record will get saved. So this is how you can add a single record, right? Now, what if you have like say 100 records or 200 records or more than that and if you want to import that data in the aircraft model list now let me delete this record first so we have multiple options so i'm going to cover each and every option that are available to import data within power apps so in this model driven app if you want to import a data you can navigate to the top bar the command bar click on the three dots if it is not available uh, sometimes it will show you within the menu bar itself now we have an option import from excel so i'm going to cover this in one of the video then we have import from csv and import from xml so i'm going to cover all these three options as well in uh, the later video but first let's focus on import from csv now if i click on import from csv it will give me a prompt and it will ask me to upload a file okay and then i can upload the corresponding file now in order to upload something we need to first create a file right so for that let me open a notepad so i have this notepad opened over here now in order to fill in the information you need to first type in the header name so in my header name is name and then i will put comma because that's a csv file and then i'll say type and comma and then range and then i can put in the data so i'll put airbus a380 comma wide body and range is say maybe long range so i'm just putting some one simple value so let me see uh, if this things works or not okay and if this thing works if it works for one record it will work for thousand records as well okay so what i've done in the first line i put the header name name comma type comma range the data the second row is the data and in the third row also we can add boeing 737 comma um, white body and maybe let's make this as a medium range okay and this is my data okay so th this are, these are two records so i can save this let me uh, save this first so let me save this in the downloads and call it as see type aircraft and i will save this as a csv file so type aircraft.csv so remember you are you have opened notepad and then if you want to save this as a csv file you just do a double quotes and then save this file okay now this is a csv file let's see if this works or not okay so watch this closely so import from excel and then import from csv and now choose the file so downloads and I have this type aircraft.csv. Now I can select the owner for the imported record or I can remove the owner. I'll keep it as it is. Click on next. And now it will ask me for delimiter settings, whether it's a quotation mark, field delimiter, whether it's a comma, colon, semicolon. I'll just leave as it is. Okay. Yes, the first row contains column heading that has to be selected and I do not want duplicates so it, it is up to me whether i want duplicates or not i'll just say no i'll keep the settings now this is an important part you click on review mapping now if i click on review mapping you need to check properly over here now whether that uh, field mapping has been done correctly or not so we have name map to name range map to range option set and now we have type okay now let's see if it has uh, it hasn't mapped it correctly the type it hasn't mapped correctly so what we can do we can go to type option set and now it has 
selected the option correctly now as you see over here there is some something wrong going over here so it says the wide body now wide body is the data it is not a column okay now it has picked up some columns correctly name range and type but it has given wide body and then it has asked me to uh, pick up the option set for the wide body so that's that's not uh that's map that mapping is not correct because i have just only three column name type and range now it has picked up this value as well now why i gave you this example is because it is important that you format your uh, file correctly okay now as you see over here it has not mapped it correctly and that's why it is giving me this error now let's do one thing let me cancel all these things again so let me cancel all this and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that same CSV name type range. And now this time, I'll just put a space between the headers. So name, comma, then type and comma range. And also after the data, I will just put a space. OK, so let's make it bit. Uh, let it breathe. Let the data breathe properly. And I'll just save this value. And now let's do one thing again, do the same process. Three dots, import from Excel, import from CSV, choose the file type aircraft.csv next all defaults review mapping now if you see it has correctly identified so name is mapping to name range is mapping to range option set and type let me select the type option set okay and it has given me an option option set value dynamics 365 option set value for type range i can see for range it is long range medium range and for type it has selected it correctly so looks all good i have an option to save this as a data map so that if i'm doing this similar import again and again i can utilize this data map so i can either name it correctly i'll just call it as csv uh, data model aircraft just for my reference and I will go ahead and click on finish import. And it says the wizard detected one or more unmapped field. Do you want to ignore? I'll say OK, confirm. And it says your data has been submitted for import. Now let me go into track progress. So if I go to track progress, it will say you won't be able to return to this page to stay here and continue working. Click cancel. But I'll just navigate so that I want to see what is happening with that data. So as you see over here, the first one the type aircraft.csv it is submitted okay let me refresh it and as i refresh it 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 is not able to find this information so let me just hit refresh again and again and it is not able to process this information. Now, as you see over here, the second one, the status has changed. Now, once it is submitted, it's changed to parsing. Then it is transforming and it has found two records. Let me refresh again. And, and it can be either of these two state completed. So here it should be completed or failed. So let's see, it says now importing. So it is actually doing and then it is says completed. So now it is success. Now, if you go into the table, so let me go back to the table. And now, as you see over here, the data has been imported. Now, if you see what has happened over here is if you go into Airbus A80, it has not selected the type correctly because it was showing some issue while selecting a type and it, it gave you all those errors, right? Now, first step why i showed you that it might fail is because if the type is not mapped correctly then it will throw you an error because what we have done we have created this csv file manually okay now the best approach is rather than you creating this file manually take the system generated file okay so i'll show you that option as well so let me go ahead and now uh, let me do one thing first let's go to export to excel okay now if i go to export to excel so i'm now using excel okay 
now let me go into the file system okay and let me open that file and show it to you now this is excel so we are talking about csv uh now we got excel over here now just say enable editing okay now you got this two record right now we are not going to touch this two record but we are going to add some more record over here now go to file okay and save as now here instead of saving as excel let's save this in a csv format okay so comma separated delimited format so we have csv dot csv csv utf8 then we have csv ms dos macintosh so we have whole bunch of uh, different different options so we have xml uh, and then we have web page so let's take up so this one csv comma delimited click on save okay and now click on okay now it says possible data loss that's fine let me pick up say let me put some value over here so let me say airbus a airbus a350 boeing 737 max and here I get an option now to select the value. So let me call this as white body. Say single. See, this is white body. This is single aisle. And now I get an option to select. So medium range. And I get an option to select medium to long range. Now, the data which was missing in our previous uh, import. So let me fill that value as well. So let me pick up this value white body. And I'll click on save. Okay. So this is aircraft model 17556. So this time, what I'm gonna do, instead of importing from the previous manually created CSV, I'll go to import from Excel. Now import from CSV, choose file, select this file, which we have just created. Click on next, review mapping. Now we have an option to select what all things we need to map. So now, as you see over here, we have range and type and name properly mapped. These are the three system build field. You need not touch that. You have an option to select the previous map, but I'm okay with the current map. Click on finish input, click on confirm. Now again, it will go through that entire process. So let me track the process again. Go back to the import tracking process. Now, as you see over here, it has submitted. Soon you will see the record. Now we have added two records and the two uh, record it was it already had so technically there should be four records and let's see what happens now we have four records two already existed within the system so this is like a second case so as you see over here there are two records we click on refresh and now it's parsing And now it's transforming then it will start importing the records and now it's completed so it has a success as four now let's see what once we refresh the screen aircraft model now as you see over here it has inserted the record so we have added four records okay now it has added one two three four just to show you how it picked that record uh let me go into edit columns and now add a field called as created on and we will sort by that so that you know that this is newer to older so these are the four records so this four record has been added correctly with the type and the range also the record which was existing it was appended to it 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 didn't uh it didn't uh say overwrite that record so it has taken that as a separate record because it didn't find this as a duplicate now why it didn't find it as a duplicate because in the previous record for boeing 737 and airbus a380 this was missing and that's why it thought like uh, the system thought that oh this is a uh, unique record and that's why it has added so i gave you this example because while importing csv it may look simple but if you do not follow the correct format uh, you may encounter a situation where either the data is missing or maybe the mapping is incorrect. So best step, uh, 
to follow the best advice to follow is instead of creating your own csv like we did at the start okay so what we did is like we created our own csv depending on the column now instead of that i would advise you to first export a sample data or sample excel convert that into csv and then import that csv so that all your imports are correct now with this option now you can have already imported four records you can even import like say 4000 record within the system so that's it folks this is how you basically use import from csv option to import data into your model driven app thanks for watching Thank you.